to the beef. I'm gonna try and be quick as possible. This is lovely meat. It's gonna go down mm, in my favor. All right, so my, my bad. I mean, shove it up in your mouth. I mean, eat it. That, that's the best way of saying. <laughs> All right. So right, it's gonna happen in the next round. Thank you for watching and keep up with the advertisement. I'll see you soon. Bye bye now. All right. So this is another way I do my opening, and this is probably the most dangerous way possible. Do not try this at home. Okay, I've been doing this way longer than most people, and it just excited me. The dangers in the kitchen. But this is what it's about. It's my ring falls off. I love that. That is a knockoff. That's pretty awesome. Off the camera, I actually got that. The slow that like, slowed that down in like a. In a slow motion, you know. Um, so right now, this is going down. Mm, so this is the next stage. Ah, yes. Ooh, okay. This is crazy in here. This kitchen is crazy in here. So I'm gonna just uh, pull that in here. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I need to bring the camera, the camera person. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. We want this thick as possible. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. Y'all can see that. Y'all can see that. All right. So now I'm gonna grab something like this. You know, I rather use a wooden one because it's much better, but for now, this is all I have in my hands. I'm just gonna use that. Technically, I just get worried about the plastic being getting burnt. All right, it's a bit of a mess here. Accidents will happen in the kitchen all the time. Now I turn the fire up a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. Now this is the last stage of the cooking. And guys, you will not believe what I'm gonna do next. I will have to let you guys know what's gonna happen next with the next cooking, and you guys will see it where it's going down. Thank you for watching my show, I really appreciate it. It's really been a tremendous fun doing this, um, just for show you guys what I can do. Uh, <laughs> it's really cool. So please, don't forget to really, really, really support the show. I got some more things cooking. Peace out. Now for the next, this one here is just gonna make it, trying to give it some crispers. We want it to get a little crispers, you know, crisp. We want to give it a little crispness, you know what I'm saying? Because that's when you crisp, just makes it, just has that little to it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, for this item, this is the meat right here, okay? So I'm gonna pour this right here into the oil, you know. Oh, you can cut that up a bit more. Maybe that's really done with this thing, cut it out. But that's mainly what I do after. As you can see, it's getting nice and crispy. You can see the color changing to brown. You don't want it to get too crisp, just to brown it out, giving you a, you know, a goodness, you know what I'm saying? Bring that juice out and put it in the faces. Yep, that's it. Okay, guys. Don't forget to come back because the next one is gonna be explosive. Thank you. This is Skeotic Flower Kitchen. Okay, so I have just realized that I've ran out of onions. So, so instead of onion, I'm gonna use garlic. That's fair enough. I'm gonna have to worry about that. So garlic is gonna do it. So haha. <laughs> So here we go. I did find onion, but what I found was a bit different. I got the onion salt. So yes, I'm gonna put this in the ingredient. <laughs> So now we have the sambolina in the water. Now it's starting to form that shape. It's starting to form that shape. It's turning into porridge. Okay, it's starting to form that shape, turning into porridge. It's looking nice, nice and strong, nice and thick. 
very nice, very lovely. So now I'm going to go on ahead and pour some more semolina in here. Slowly stir that up. Stir, 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 stir. Now when I do this, I make sure I have a piece of cloth in my hands. This piece of cloth is going to help me stop my hands from burning. As you can see, my pot has no handle, right? But I like it that way. Stir it up. Make sure that nothing is forming shape in there and making... I don't want it to have those little round balls in there. We don't want that. Let's stir that up on whatever side direction. doesn't matter. As you can see, it's getting thicker and thicker. It's getting thicker and thicker. Yeah. That's what we want. It's getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. Right there. And it's getting very hot. So as you can see, that shape has been formed. I'm going to go on ahead and pour some more in there. Right? Now, it's a bit here. It's a bit thicker. Now with a little bit of cooking oil in there, just stop it from. Can you pass me the cooking oil? Thank you. I think there's a bit in there. Now I need a bit of cooking oil in here, just to stop it from literally sticking too much to the pot. All right, perfect. Here we go. I'm gonna beat it up. I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. Okay guys, looks like everything is ready. The fufu, the African food, the main option to the course of the meal is ready. The meat itself is ready. Beautifully done. Look at the crisp on it. Look at the juice in it. It's flourishing. It's amazing. But before we do anything or anything, let's check out the skewers, the vegetable skewers. Yes, 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 yes. It's looking very, very nice. Now I'm just gonna pull them out, place them on the plate, very nicely, neatly, carefully, slowly, so we don't, you know, smash into them. Okay, beautiful. Push the pet, that's turned off, beautiful. That is the lovely vegetable skewers side dish. All right, I'm gonna place that on the table, on the side right here. That's ready to go. Push it to the side. Now we're going to go over here. Okay, I'm going to push this to the side. Bring this over here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn and flip this over. This is the hard part. Now I need my, my cloth. I'm going to go place this on the side like this. Okay, now I'm going to just flip it up like that. And that's pretty much how it's been done. Place it on the side, remove it, grab the pot, release it, boom! There we go. Lovely, beautiful, well done, doughy kind of food that we love to eat. So now I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit. Give it a shape, you know, nice and round, circle. You know what I'm saying? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay, that should be enough. It's hot, but I love it. Place it like that. Give that a nice clean on the side. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ta-da! It is amazing. Now I'm gonna bring it over here, put it next to the skewers. Bam! That's done, that's out of the way. Now let's do some testing. Let's see how well. Oh, this. It's just like heaven. Although I've never been to heaven. Okay, let's go on ahead and taste it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yes, yes. It's amazing. Next, we'll grab something out of here. Alright? Just gonna place it in here. Just pour that in there. Look at the juice. Look at that. Mm. Show them how juicy that is. Look at that juice. Look at that juice. This is to die for. Beautiful. On the side. Guys, 
Thank you so much for watching my show. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and punch that notification bell if you want to see more stuff like this. I am out there. Thank you for watching Scouting Vlogs. And that's how you eviscerate a girl with a toy block. Stacy. Stacy. Amelia.